So I'm gonna do a quick market update for everybody. I wish I had something fun and exciting to tell y'all, but um, basically I just want to point out these what I'm calling globs. Cause what what the fuck is this? The market since it started this the most recent downtrend is just been it just chops. It just tends to fall and then chop, and it falls at the most unexpected time. But this is why you gotta stay vigilant and keep your alert set <clears throat> and just really be prepared for anything. Here we had an eight day period where just trading 140 point range and then boom, dump. Then here, just for 10 days straight, 240 point range, it just did that and then dumped. Right now we have a 14 day long, 275 point range glob. The problem with these ranges expanding is that the more these ranges expand, the more false break, more the more false breakouts you likely to take because these are big moves. When stocks flush a level like that with that type of conviction, you are thinking that it's flushing. So you plan rejects, expecting to get some downside movement. You feel what I'm saying? Um, that's not happening. Now you just rocketing back higher. So it's like you can't even really trust what's happening. But um, coming in June, the Fed is going to finally announce, I guess, start um, balance sheet runoff. And I've talked about that before. You can go back and watch previous videos. It's not bullish at all. So the market trying to bounce right here. Right now, I think is a bull trap. So set up. So I will be looking for market to get chop his way up, glob his way up to this price area right here and flush. That would be our third touch. That would put us around 4160, so about 416 for spy. That's about 10 points from here right now. You can see we have four or five. But yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the market. It's just very boring, very annoying, and globby, globby market. But uh, I would say don't get caught up. Oh, duh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get up in here. It's going to get, it's probably going to get physical. I would say just don't get caught up in um, any hype of any craziness. Yeah. Don't let people tell you the market is skyrocketing back to all time highs. I would have a hard time believing that it's happening. So manage your positions and assets accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is looking good. Yeah, that's it. That's the market. Ain't nothing exciting. Balance sheet runoff start. Fed meeting minutes said they're going to do 50 basis points at the next couple of meetings. And then the market has been going up ever since then, which was yesterday. Here, well, probably about up in here, really. So it's not like the market can't bounce off of bad news. It's just like, it's just annoying when it does. Because like, like, why are you doing this? You feel me? So that's where we are right now. Um, my views have not changed. Nothing has changed. Uh, Bitcoin. Glob. Globby. It's like, what are you supposed to do with this? And, and the crazy thing, so I'm showing you an example because you have these massive moves down and you start to think, well, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm short it on a retest of support because that's that's where it's going to reject it. No, it just stocks just keep going. Right? So that's what's been annoying because like you just can't do nothing about it. Like nothing at all except get stopped out. So I said that to say I would not be shocked to see Bitcoin just do something stupid and just just I'm talking about 
just skyrocketed. I don't think it go that high. Don't don't take that literally, but I would not be surprised to see it go. Then not stop, and everybody gonna say, "Oh, it's breaking out! It's breaking resistance." It's gonna come here and then boom. So something like that. Same for the market. And my views on Bitcoin remain the same. It's just the tech stock because this looks just like the stock market. You're better off holding certain tech stocks over this, if you ask me. Unless something changes and something could change. Because longer term view, my analysis remains the same. You got a bearish double top. I've been saying this since we was literally up here. Well, honestly, I said it up here. Like, yeah, literally in November. Double top. I don't see any good reason why Bitcoin makes any seriously drastic move prior to coming back down here. But the thing is, you can have these globs every every now and again that give you these bounces that look good just bear market rally i wouldn't trust it yeah that's the market that's the market so i'll say that 415 to 425 430 range Look for things to get fiscal. I'm not necessarily certain we even get up there, so it's not like I'm crazy bullish. But if we do chop our way, glob our way up there, or wherever this line meets, that's where we get physical. And that will get market update. So there's no confusion on what's happening. But data, if you want day to day updates and stuff, follow trades and all that fun stuff, definitely uh, check out the mentorship. You can go to 6 Fat Daddy 9 on Instagram. you find the link in my bio. But that's all I got. And uh, I'll catch y'all for the next video.